Ladles and jelly spoons, how are you doing? So, we have got really something totally different. Hello, Fred. Something totally, totally, totally different for me tonight. It's a bass guitar. I don't play the bass guitar. However, I could be tempted because this is, I've never, ever, never, ever, ever played a bass guitar that I could do pull-offs with. Anyways, this thing is a, um, as we can see, this is a, now listen, what I really want you to do is just make a little jump to the left and then a step to the right. Then put your hands on your hips because this looks like a time warp machine. It dates from, it's a about 1986 when hair metal was all the rage and um, it's super it is su it's superb the neck is so fast it beggars a belief um, and uh, from what I can gather made in Japan now we'll have a look around it in a bit and I'll tell you a little bit more about that as we get to it but let's have a listen I take do you know what I played a couple of P basses in the past but uh, this is a uh, as we can see a pointy headstock can only come from Jackson Charvel this is a Charvette by Charvel now as uh, you will know uh, the Charvettes were the budget end of the Charvel spectrum Nonetheless, the quality didn't suffer from what I've read up about them. And let's have a listen. And then I'll say, I'm not going to play it very, very much because, quite honestly, it's not my instrument. But this thing looks virtually unused and uh, was uh, therefore irresistible. So, let's have a listen. Um, now, it has got uh, Charvel uh, branded pickups and uh, Charvel branded Goto uh, Japanese tuners. Let's have a listen. Let's have a listen. Now, I've got everything flat out. Oh, well, actually, I'll tell you, I'm going to turn the tone knob halfway down, and there's a reason for this. half the time. The rest of the time I was just hammering on and off and it, 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 this thing is a joy to play. Uh, and the reason that I turned the uh, tone knob halfway down is because this tone knob is like a wah-wah pedal. And when you've got the tone flat out it doesn't half remind me See new bassists will be laughing your backsides off me right, at me right now. But that is so dingy, the sound actually reminds me of the R word. It does remind me of the. The sound reminds me of a Rickenbacker. It, ju it just really, really does when you've got it on flat out. And their neck, their neck is absolutely heart achingly gorgeous. It's so, it's, and it's very, very typical Jackson, Jackson, or Jackson, where am I from? Uh, uh, you're from Blackpool, got Jackson, uh, Jackson Charvel. Very, very typical. As you may or may not know, I've got a Charvel uh, Spectrum and it's. I've got an Ibanez as well, or Ibanez, whichever your preferred way of saying it is. And uh, the, the Ibanez comes across as a sort of Charvel 
copy, but I digress. So there's not really very much I can uh, uh, play you on this or do justice to it with. Because quite honestly, I'm murdering it, uh, and this and that's just through. I don't know whether the sound comes across well or not, but that's just through this tiny little um, Marshall 15 watt amp, which I have to say is incredible for its size. So there's still now when when the nickel is rolled out for frets. And this is why I'm saying time warp. When the nickel is rolled out for frets, it has a coating on it. Normally, I'll polish frets up, but these have still got the original coating. There's absolutely, there's, I cannot see really any, I think that this has been taken out of the box and a bit of a muck around with. It might even be a, an X demo, but it is, uh, 20 minus another 10, so it's the 30, 30 something years old, and the only and the only really annoying defect with it is, is that it's missing one of the caps you see, it's missing that cap from the uh, Goto tuners. It's quality, it's quality, 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 quality. Uh, the neck is super slim. I don't know what base action is supposed to look like, but that was pretty good to me. And it would probably, it would probably go down a bit further. I can't, apart from a few little, a little swirls here and there on the body, I can see nowhere. I can't see anywhere with this at all. There's, I mean, those pointy things, they always get brutalised, but that is, you know, It's lovely. What an absolutely fact. I really, really, really could be tempted uh, to play bass guitar because of this. Uh, and you've got, as we can see, the usual uh, scarf joint uh, here, which is what one would expect to see with uh, a uh, an instrument uh, designing created by uh, Charvel or Jackson. Uh, it's got your pointy hair metal headstock. And it sounds. Br I'd look. I would love to hear this through a massive bass amplifier with a nice 18-inch Gauss speaker. But uh, I don't have one of those. So we have the Chavel uh, branded uh, pickups. The strings. If there was anything wrong with them, I would have replaced them. But they've not been played. There's, uh, they they ding. They ding beautifully. Uh, like I say, there's, I can't see anything, anything, anything on the frets. That's what all, but I'm saying anything at all. Very, 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 very little. And the, and the whole, the whole picture is one of joy. Now, I've been reading the various uh, forums and uh, information on these, uh, which is a little bit difficult to extract from the various web pages. However, what I have gathered is this. Uh, the clue, pro the probably the best clue, is on those Goto tuners which do say made in Japan and I believe that this was made in Japan. The last thing that I read was, was that any of the neck plates that have still got the Fort Worth um, insignia on them were in fact made in Japan. The uh, so that would indicate that this is an early Charvet. Now, the later production did move to the Samic factory in Korea, but this is made in the I can't remember what it's called the Chuffing Chaffinch factory, something like that. But anyway, in Japan. 
Uh, and of course, when production became too expensive there uh, in the late 80s, early 90s, then uh, production was shifted from Japan to Korea. But I believe this, uh, because of what I've read and because of the Fort Worth thingy uh, on the back plate there, I believe this to be uh, Japanese. And even though these are your uh, the budget end of uh, Charvels, I, th I mean, it's got, the, you know, you've got the Charvel pickups, which are blinding. They are astonishing. And uh, it's, and it, doesn't that look nice? Does that not look nice? It's nice and it's easy, really, really. It, it's the easiest bass I've played. So uh, there you go. Um, I reckon that's a catch. So uh, thank you. That's I really that's it for me. I play your tune, but I can't play. I can't play. The, I'm not a bass guitarist, and anybody who thinks that uh, a bass guitar is just a regular guitar with uh, two less strings, well, it ain't. It's a different instrument, pretty much all together, but. This thing is really, truly beautiful. Look at the lovely tight grain in the neck. Uh, I'm guessing Canadian rock maple, uh, very probably. Anyway, fabulously constructed. There's an act, and I can't believe that after 30 years, there's, I mean, there's a. There's a little, there's a little bit of swirling. A little bit of swirling here and there on the back, but generally speaking, that is an absolutely astonishing instrument. So, I uh, hope that's helpful to some of you. And uh, thanks all so much for watching. And adios, amigos. Ta-ra!